Hello folks, in this video you are going to see how to create a script file, how to provide permissions for it and how to execute it in a Linux bash terminal. Okay, so uh, what is a script file? A script file will is a file that has the instructions or the commands for the Linux kernel to execute. Okay, so there are two file editors uh, that are available in uh, Ubuntu. Uh, one is the nano file editor and the vi file editor uh, file editor is the tool basically to uh, um, edit the file or uh, delete any line or modify any file content in the file so uh, let's try to understand the uh, file editors usage and then we'll also going to see how to provide file permissions for the files and then we are going to see how to give uh, how to execute this file Okay, file when you uh, talk about file permission, there are three kinds of permission classes. One is the owner permission class or the user permission class. Owner can also be called as user. So uh, the next one is the group permission class and the third one is the other permission class. Each of these classes will have three kinds of permissions. One is read, write and x which is which is actually means or w and x. So read uh, re, uh, r stands for read w stands for write and x stands for executable permission we know what is read or uh, we know what is write. what does it mean by execute so execute it means actually uh, that uh, when we give the executable permission for a file the contents inside the file will be uh, uh, executed or will be interpreted by the linux as command or instruction uh, for the kernel and then it will start executing them one by one line after line okay so how to provide the required permission for these permission classes so uh, uh, you can uh, each and every uh, permission that is read permission write and ex executable permission carries a weightage uh, four for read two for write one for execute so in case if you want to give read write execute for for, for a particular permission class you may need to give four plus two plus one that makes seven and then if you want to give uh, read and write and own don't need to give executable permission for a group then you have to give six so because four plus two makes six six and if you want to give uh, read and executable permission alone for the um, other group class then you can give five so the uh, seven six five is the code that you can provide for a particular file which gives the appropriate permission for, for that particular file you can also give the uh, permission using the command uh, ch mod ch mod is the command actually ch mod stands for change mod change mod uh, you can give the code 765 and give the file name i'm taking the file name as sample.sh uh, so you can give 765 as a file uh, code for uh, which stands for the file, file permissions for these permission classes um, for the particular file and in case i have given it as ch mod 764 uh, for sample.sh which means actually uh, 7 means rwx all permissions for owner and this, um, or read and write permission for group and then 4 means actually it will have only the read permission for the other group so you can also give uh, the chmod command by giving u plus the x sample.sh u stands for user user or the owner so in this uh, case i'm giving only the executable permission uh, for the uh, uh, i'm giving uh, the executable permission only for the user and not for the uh, group and other classes so i'm giving uh, u plus the x and sample.sh okay so coming to the execution part uh, execution as i had mentioned uh, uh, once you have the permission appropriate permission for the uh, file then you can uh, you, you will be able to oh, execute the file you can execute the file by giving dot slash sample dot sh that's one way to do it the other way is you can also invoke slash bin slash bash which is the bash uh, binary you can invoke that and then you can give the name of the file let's now see how to create the file and then execute the file I am using the file as sample.sh. I am using the file editor nano and the file name as sample.sh and it opens up a very nice 
uh, window uh, with a, a user friendly uh, help menus uh, help keys that are uh, shortcut keys that we need to use uh, for uh, saving reading and replacing so many help uh, um, short keys are available at the bottom that you can see okay now first thing we need to do is create the shebang line so shebang line is the line that will tell the kernel that uh, this is using the bash bash script bash commands okay so i'm going to print this is my first bash script file that's what i'm going to print here and currently i have to enter two lines now i have to save these two lines how do i save so you see uh, control o which means write out which will do the saving uh, of these two lines into this file so i'm going to press i'm pressing control o now and it says file name to write a sample.sh press the enter so you can see the message it wrote two lines it has <coughs> successfully written two lines now i have to execute exit so by pressing control x as we see here control x exits the um, from the nano file editor I'm pressing control x now give ch mod <coughs> u plus x sample dot message this is a file permission that i'm giving uh, for the sample dot sh let's create another file using the va editor test dot sh va test dot sh so uh, va editor <coughs> uh, uses two modes one is command mode and the edit mode in the command mode it will accept only the commands and it will not be able to edit the file so by default it will open up the file in the command mode if in case if you want to open the <coughs> file in the edit mode then you have to press i uh, for insert so the moment you press i it will uh, give the user uh, for uh, editing purpose. Now we can again do the stack line slash bin. <coughs> and giving. Okay, and pressing escape. Uh, so I have to go back to the command prompt after finishing editing so i have to press escape and then press con colon when you once you press colon you can see the cursor blinking at the bottom waiting for command to be given by the user i'm going to give the command wq wq stands for write and quit so wq stands for write and quit so it's uh, saving it and then quitting it i have to give the uh, executable permission so this time i want to give seven Six and then four. Let's start it. Search. Let's see the executable uh, the file permission for these files. Sample.sh. So as you see, RWX. So only the user is having the uh, executable permission. Let us also see the file permission for test.sh, and it's also having the same uh, user alone for having the executable permission. Let's try to execute. So I'm going to say dot slash sample.sh. It is printing the message that I've given. I'm going to give this time I'm going to use bin slash slash with this dot search. It is also printing the message that I have given. Okay, so uh, very simple. So that's all, guys. Thanks for watching. In case if you like this video, please do a like. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.